obedience to the instructions that connect to the blessings you desire. I told you that every dimension of God that we seek in this kingdom is conditional. And there are principles and instructions that are connected. Please listen. Please listen. You have to get this. Principles and instructions. Say after me please. Principles and instructions. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said come. And instruction. And he got up and walked on water. When they met him and said, Sir, the feast, the wedding in the Cana of Galilee, in John chapter 2, the wine is finished. And there's, there's, there's about to be a major embarrassment in this feast. And he said, fill six pots with water. And when he filled six pots with water, he said, now you go and serve the Lord. That's a risk. If those guys got there and the rulers took an... <laughs> If they fetched that water and it was water in their mouth, they would have killed those people. But at the instance of his word, they went. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the light. There's no one like you. In our life. One more time. Water is turning into wine. When you're obedient, Apostle, I desire higher levels of the anointing. There are principles that lead to it. You must obtain the grace to be obedient. Apostle, I want to increase financially in this season. Just claiming wealth will make you look foolish before the world, respectfully speaking. It's not enough to just say, my God wants to bless me. You must find out the principles that are connected to that dimension of God's grace. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. Are we together now? It says the gift of a man shall make room for him and bring him before great men. These are the principles that connect to greatness. Apostle, I want... The nations to hear my voice. There are many spiritual principles that are responsible for that. One of it is an encounter with the prophetic. Go and read your Bible. Nobody rose just because they had intellect. There were times in their lives where the prophetic had to be introduced into their life. By this time, tomorrow, he said. There are principles... The challenge is most times believers know the outcomes that they desire, but they do not know the principles that connect to those outcomes or they have not obtained the grace to be diligent and obedient in keeping to and with those instructions and with those principles. I am passionate about knowing the instructions and the principles that connect me to the grace and the glory of God. You may have heard me say it, that every time the glory of God is revealed, the glory of God revealed is an attestation to the fact that His patterns have been kept. If you keep God's patterns, you will see His glory. We are here today celebrating the mighty hand of God upon your man of God, and upon a prophet that God has given to the nations, not only because he is called of God, but he can articulate steps of faith in obedience to the voice of God. I thank God for the privilege that I had to participate in the process of this place, in our discussion, and, and I had the honor of watching prophecy unveil. Today we are celebrating what we, the glory of God, but it did not just come because he's a man of God. It came at the instance of obedience. Shout obedience. Disobedience is very costly. If you know the cost of disobedience, you will run away from it. Obedience. The Lord can give you an instruction, for instance, and say it's time to go to the next level of your life. Spend three days in fasting and prayer. That's an instruction. You may argue it and say, God, um, I'm not eating well. I'm just about to eat well before the fast. And you know, you see, God speaks once. It's your responsibility to hear twice.
Isaac, I know there is famine and other people are running, but stay in this land. This is your place of blessing. You can argue it. When God speaks, obey him more. When God speaks, honor him. Every prophetic word does not make sense till it makes sense. Every prophetic word looks like a mistake. Every prophetic word looks like an error until you see the intelligence of God play out through the pride of men. By this time tomorrow, and a foolish man would come and say, even if the windows of heaven is opened. Ah! And he said, okay, so that you will not die thinking God was a liar, you will see it, but you will not eat from it. I rebuke unbelief from your life. I rebuke the spirit of disobedience from your life. Hallelujah. Ask everyone who God has helped in ministry, in business. They will tell you a, came, a point came in their lives where there were divine instructions. I'm not just talking of instructions written in scripture. There are times God will give you unique instructions. When those seasons come, be careful because you will, you will take advantage of something that will lift you to a new season or you will recycle your current season again. Years ago, the Lord gave me an instruction. I've shared it a number of times. To take a seed and take it to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko. And I got up. It was, it was, I'm not talking about money. It's just an example. It came that there are, there are seeds where you give, you know this is Ishmael. But there are seeds when you give, you know this one is Isaac. You will die with your seed there. These are not the seeds that you smile. There are seeds that are called precious. The Bible says you weep while you are giving them. And then I remember I came out and I was about to enter the vehicle to go and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, come out. He said, put your hand on that ground. I placed my hand on that ground. He says, from today you have entered the overflow anointing. Lifting does not just happen. I have to be honest with you. Because you see, believers are wonderful people. And even though prophecy is here to help us, there is the responsibility of obedience. Adherence to divine instructions. Go around Jericho seven times. Once every day. And then at the seventh time, the priests in front, with a shout and that blast of the healer, the wall will come down. That was the instruction. You can invent your own strategy, but it may not work. Imagine them going around quietly. What are you doing? Obeying instructions. Kali parosiata. And for every time they obeyed, the spirit of grace is released. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit while you are obeying. Just because you don't hear any sound does not mean God is not moving. Keep obeying. God can give you an instruction and say for the remaining part of this year, every day you must pray for the man of God and his wife. It's an instruction. Oh Lord, but I'm already a prayer warrior. That's not it. An instruction now came from heaven. God can give you an instruction and say every month from that which you have, ensure that you sow into the man of God and his wife. You say, Lord, I've been doing it. There's no, you did that one as a gift from your heart. This one is an instruction connected to the next level of your life. Believe what I'm telling you. You are not being taught cunningly divides fables. Instructions. And then principles. Principles. Obedience is powerful. It is the game changer between people who become talkatives and those who become proof producers. Principles. I know that God is able to lift. I know that God is able to change. I know that God is able to turn a man's life around. But just believing that he would do it will not solve the problem. Lord, what is the principle? He says, good master, what must I do to be saved? That's a rich man. Because he knows there is there's responsibility connected to everything. What must I do to be saved? What is my own part? 
is God speaking to us. Every dimension of the goodness of God you desire has conditions attached. You must obtain knowledge of what those conditions are and then grace to obey thoroughly. Grace to obey thoroughly. Grace to obey thoroughly. It is amazing the kinds of miracles that can happen in your life at the instance of your obedience. There are many of you, you shouldn't have been at this level if you had obeyed God. He gave you an instruction in 2014. You argued it and said, I will, I will obey. You see, the thing with life is life is a patient teacher. It will keep recycling your pain till you learn. 2014, this is the way out. No. 2015 again, this is the way out. No. 2016, this is the way out. No. 2017, this is the way out. Today God is coming to you again. How long will you wait when it is my desire to show you my goodness? There are people, one instruction they would have obeyed, they would have been in their house now. Please don't feel bad. I'm challenging you. Neglect to divine instructions can cost you more than you know. For some, it can even be a matter of life and death. Don't go this road. Obedience is very powerful. I learned this as a principle. If you learn to obey God, if you learn to obey the word, your life will become and remain a living wonder. Believe me when I tell you this. I desire to walk in superior dimensions of grace and the anointing. I desired it sincerely. And I knew that it was in prophecy for me to walk in these dimensions. But I knew that just hoping and wishing, I would only waste my time and waste the time of a generation. And I began to search what are the principles that govern the manifestation of the power of God in a man's life. Genuine, authentic, spiritual power. And I began to find them. I began to find them. And I said, Lord, grant me the grace. It may not be easy, but I, I obtained the grace. And goodness, I am grateful for that obedience because you see many people wait to eat from your obedience obedience is powerful the benefits go beyond you are we together i came here this morning lending my voice with your pastor to let you know that if god has done this for this church then it's time for your own life to reflect it you cannot be in a ministry that has been so greatly helped by God and then remain the same. The testimony from your life is what gives credence to the anointing that is upon this house. No, there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord.